Hi, and welcome on board this Mailjet flight. Today, we're going to show you how to create a subscription form with Mailjet. A subscription widget is a tool that helps capture contact information of your website visitors for future engagement. This dashboard enables you to create a new subscription form or manage your existing subscription widgets. Let's start by creating a new one. You first need to select the type of subscription form you want to create. An embedded subscription form will result in a static form that you can integrate to any web page. A pop-in subscription form will be displayed in a pop-up window that appears with a click on a link, button, image, or triggered after a set amount of time on a page. In our example, we'll show you how to create an embedded subscription form. Next, you should define the name of the subscription form, the contact list that you wish to build or add contacts to, and the language of the form. You also have the option of using a confirmation page managed by Mailjet or your own page. This page will be shown when your contact clicks on the confirmation link in the subscription confirmation email. If you choose to use Mailjet's confirmation page, you'll be able to customize that page at a later step. Once this step is completed, you can select the fields to include in your form. In this example, we'll select the email address, which is included by default, the first name, the last name, and the city. You can rename the labels of these fields. We also choose to make the last name and city fields optional by deselecting the mandatory checkbox next to them. Now let's scroll down to customize the look and feel of the subscription form. On this screen, you can edit and personalize your subscription form and subscription confirmation page. The first menu item helps you customize the text of the subscription form to outline the terms of your subscription agreement and the types of communication you'll have with your contact. You can also change the font, size, style, and alignment to match your brand. The second menu item allows you to edit the text and background of the subscription form. You can add a custom color to the color palette by entering a color code and then simply drag and drop that color onto the element you wish to change. In our example, you can see that the outline of the element you're selecting changes its form. The third menu item lets you edit the layout of the subscription form by choosing between a two-column layout, the default format, and a single-column format. The width and height are customizable to your needs. The fourth menu item gives you the option to enter the expert mode, where you can edit your subscription form using HTML and CSS. Note that once you select the expert mode, you'll no longer be able to access the toolbar shown previously. Let us now show you how to edit the confirmation page. The confirmation page is the page that your subscribers will see once they confirm opt into your list by clicking in the link in the confirmation email. You can see the same edit options as with the subscription form. You can change the text and edit the color with our drag and drop tool. You can customize the image displayed in the page with your brand logo. An expert mode is also available to provide you with deeper customization capabilities. Let us now show you how to customize the confirmation email. Once again, you can align your wording with your corporate communication tone and use your corporate colors. When you're happy with your edit, click Next. This screen gives you a summary of your widget parameters and the ability to fill out confirmation email info, such as the from address, sender name, or subject. You can preview your form in the main window or open previews of the confirmation page and the confirmation email in a new window. Click on Save to go to the last step of the process. OK, your widget is now ready to be integrated on your website. You can either copy the code manually from the window or hit the Copy button to place it in your clipboard, then simply paste it where you want to integrate the form on your website. Back on the widget dashboard, you can find all the subscription widgets you have created. You can see the performance of your subscription forms by looking at the number of people who signed up to your contact list. If you do have several subscription widgets, use our search field to locate the right one.
by clicking on the Manage button, you can delete, retrieve integration code, duplicate, or edit existing widgets. Thanks for your attention. Stay tuned for more videos on how to get the most out of your emailing with MailJet.